Hola, Feliz Navidad. Welcome to another episode of Mima and Gigi's Christmas in July. Do you want to say hi, Gigi Elf? Yes, hi. Hello, I'm so glad to be here. We have, uh, we had a little bit of a delay. Usually we do um, at least two videos per week. But this week, um, you know, we have we have servants' hearts. So if somebody needs help, we we kind of drop drop the unimportant things. Even though this is important, um, helping others out is more important to us. So uh, we got the opportunity to help this sweet little ninety-one-year-old lady. So we did that. And when I got home after doing that. Uh, I got everything set up, and then I said, Gigi Elf, let's do it Friday. It was so hot out, and I got home, it was about 2 o'clock, and by the time our what we were going to make would be done, it was just going to be much too late. So we said, let's just do it Friday. We'll Every, do it Friday. Everybody will understand, yes. right, Mom? Yes, yes, we are here. Yes, we are. But we have some great news. Again, we're gonna do in two segments. We're gonna start off in here so you can see our beautiful Christmas tree and decorations. And then we're going to move into the kitchen. And uh, and we have a little um, segment for out there too. But we got two shout outs this, um, this past week. <laughs> from two other channels and we have grown with subscribers. We have 58 subscribers now. We are so happy. We are so happy and you guys have just been leaving the nicest um, comments about Gigi Elf and me too, so thank you. Um, Gigi just loves it when you guys leave those comments and when I read them to her, she just gets so tickled, oh. yeah. She gets so tickled about, isn't she adorable? Everybody's been saying how adorable she is and I think they're absolutely right. She's just adorable. I see her reaching for something. What you reaching for there, DGL? The elves made me a Christmas present. I get to go see my Christmas present that the elves made me. Do you want to show us? Yes, I want you to see. Okay, well, while she's working on that, um, we just wanted to say we've been getting responses for our um, for our drawing for how many buttons we have, and I'm gonna give y'all a little. There's big buttons and little buttons in here, okay? So I'm thinking y'all might want to start kicking your number up a little bit. Uh, they're pretty low, and that's all I'm gonna say. You don't want to go over. Come on, Gigi Elf. Let's see what you have. What did the elves make you? The elves made me new earrings. Look oh at my, my earrings. They're beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? And you make beautiful Christmas music with them. But I don't have anything to give to the elves. We're going to make them cookies one day. Christmas cookies? We'll make cookies? Christmas cookies for the elves. Oh, Because they gave word. me these new earrings aren't they beautiful yeah show them close up tgl yeah. go a little closer so they can see yeah. is this the right way is this the right way there you go there we go aren't they cute let me help you okay it's a little puppy bell yeah let me see like this, this one. one this one's a little puppy oh come in a little closer <laughs> DGL. I never had a pair of earrings before, but I'm told I get them in a pair. That means pear shape? No, what's a pair for the earrings? Oh, there's two earrings, so that makes it a pair of earrings. It's not a pair you eat. <laughs> She's so silly. Good Hi. job, DGL. Thank you. I'm trying, just trying to fix the camera there. Thank okay, you. so they're adorable, and yes, we... We will make some uh, Christmas cookies for those sweet little elf buddies of yours. Yes, and I'm so happy I got a present and their present will be cookies. I had a candy cane, but it's not a real candy cane. So 
So that's not fair to give them a candy cane that's not a candy no, cane. we want to give them a real treat. We'll give them a treat. We'll make them a real treat. I'm so glad you're here today to see me get my new earrings. Yeah. So, um, so I uh, just want to touch on this a little bit more. So if you make a guess, if this is your first time watching, uh, Mima and Gigi, I'm Gigi, I'm Mima Claus, and this is Gigi Elf, and we're doing Christmas in July. So if you guess the buttons in this decanter, you can win this beautiful self-care day gift basket and we'll mail it to you as long as you're not you know out of the country or something um and we have chocolates and candle and a cup with some tea and um a, a cactus plant from sedona arizona where we live and a wind chime so but gg elf has been working very hard on making uh this decoration for you. We we went to the senior, a lot of y'all will remember, we went to the senior center and we talked to the coordinator about going and doing some jewelry making classes for our seniors. Well, we set up a date to start and everything and she wanted me to write, do a little write up, a little bio. And I, when I emailed that to her, uh, she said that she talked to the director and uh, they wanted to do a survey of what the seniors want to, you know, what kind of activities they want. So uh, we're waiting to hear back. And if the seniors do want the jewelry making class, then we're gonna be able to move forward. And we're real excited. But if y'all remember, we went and we picked up a whole bunch of beads and treasures and uh, Gigi has been working on, pick it up Can and show them, Gigi. Show them? Yeah, pick it up. Uh, she has been working on this with some of the beads. Yeah, with some of the pretty uh, rhinestones and beads. She's been, we cut out the Christmas tree and we're hot glue gunning, or Gigi, -G, should I say. This is her, this is her, uh, um, her activity that she's been having so much fun doing. So she's going to continue to work on that. And then, uh, but sometimes I need a band aid because that glue gun is really hot. She's been burning. <laughs> I've been burning burn. my fingers, but I, I learned how to not burn my fingers. I told her, Do you want a cup with ice? <laughs> <laughs> I said, No, I'm going to get through this, but owie. <laughs> yeah. So then we're going to frame it up. And, uh, yeah. um, she's been having has, so much fun working on it. It has pearls and jewels, and it's just. I was working with all these beautiful things. Look how pretty that is. And I'll have to finish it up. It's not finished yet. But yeah, we'll when she's when done, finished. we'll frame it all up. We'll put it in a nice frame and show you. Yes. So I just wanted to say one more thing before we move to the next segment. Is uh, Gigi and I have been... Uh, when we very first started this journey, remember, Gigi, yes. we committed to doing 50, 50 videos. And today's video is going to be number 22. But we were thinking, uh, we want to be more interactive with you guys. And you you guys are wonderful. You're responding. You're guessing on our, on our uh, little uh, competition or our guessing game. And... Um, we we're thinking, how can we, how can we continue to do something like this? Um, you know, I I love when I was doing the I used to lead the women's ministry at my old church, and every month we would have a meeting, and I would put together one of these baskets, and the ladies loved it. Who doesn't like winning a basket, um, a basket full of women treats? You know, I put. Uh, candles and, and scented soaps and always some candies or chocolates and picture frames. And uh, so we were thinking, how could we do this every month and pull people in so we can be involved with each other? And we thought we rented uh, Mr. What was it? The Ghost and Mr. Mr. Chicken with Don Knotts. I last so week funny. we laughed so much 
we had so much fun. Um, we don't like, we don't like like drugs and sex and crime and all that. A little bit of murder mystery is okay, but. So we were thinking, <laughs> how about, I'm going to ask y'all, and if you think that this is something you would be interested in doing, leave us a comment below. Is where we would have, we would do a movie a week, um, and we'll try to find the free movies because uh, we had to pay for the, the Ghost and Mr. Chicken. It was like $4, but uh, not everybody can afford that, and believe me, we completely understand. So we'll try to find, even on YouTube, they have uh, free movies. Free so, movies. So what we thought is that we could do a meal or a snack that will go with the movie for that week. And then um, we'll at the end of the month, we'll put a, we'll have a theme. So throughout the movies, all four movies, it will be like, uh, you'll find the theme. Like it's all in a certain city or a certain town or the same actor or, uh, a scary theme. It's not going to be super duper hard, you know. And then you'll make your guess after the uh, on the on the fourth week. You or you can make it at the first week. Or probably not the first week because you're going to have to see a couple of the movies to get the theme. So after like the second or third movie, you can start making your guesses. And then who guessed right? Say it's a haunted house theme. Uh, you'll leave your you guess in the comments and then we'll keep track of them like we are with the buttons. And then uh, Gigi will cut all the correct guesses up and put them in a bowl like we did at the women's ministry. And then Gigi Elf will pick, well, she probably won't be Elf by then, but we have been looking at new costumes. We love the dressing up aspect of this. So I think we're going to be uh, wearing I get a lot a of new costumes. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, yeah. I get a new Costume. So then we'll pick it live on our, our <clears throat> filming and then, you know, then every month we'll have a, we'll have a little gift we could send you. Okay. So if you like that idea, uh, leave us a comment if you do or not. And if you, if you have any other ideas of how we can be, uh, you know, back and forth with each other, um, that would be fantastic. Baking so. cookies is a good idea. Yeah, we're going to be doing that too. <laughs> that means we have, it's so hot here in Sedona. Um, that means we have to turn on our stove and already my costume is so hot. But like I said, you guys are worth it. So, um, okay. So now we're going to move into the kitchen for our next se segment and we'll see you soon. See you soon. Ooh. Okay, so we're back for our second half of our Christmas in July. Ooh. And uh, we're going to, because it's so warm, uh, even though we have the air conditioning on, uh, we don't want to run our stove. But we wanted to do a crock pot enchilada casserole. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. yummy. Feliz Navidad. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas. We're so silly. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a crock pot <clears throat> enchilada casserole. Now, um, this is going to be very versatile. Uh, you, you're going to be able to inter exchange, you know, if you don't, we're going to use, of course, our canned, uh, beef. We have beef, uh, beef Yummy stew, beef. stew beef. Beef stew is so good. But just the meat. Uh, and Gigi's going to be grating <laughs> us up some Ooh. pepper jack cheese and some cheddar cheese for the top. So... We're going to get started, and I'm going to show you in the ingredients while I put the fan on me. It feels so good. I was so hot. I was getting very grumpy, and I don't want to be a grumpy uh, me. And I told her to use the fan. She's very smart. Meemaw claws. Yeah. You can't have a grumpy meemaw claws. No, not one that's so <laughs> hot and burning up. So I feel much better now with this fan blowing on me. But Ooh. I'm going to, yes. She... Gigi is very, very smart. 
I'm gonna get this going here and get my olive oil. Dee Dee, you may start you on. Start on yes, the here's cheese. your grater. And here's the cheese. This one is just a small cheese, but it's a small cheese. I gotta get it open here first. All right, and I gotta get mine open here. And I just washed my hands before I came on deck. I'm gonna save my broth for our dogs for their food. And I'm going to actually strain it. What kind of cheese here. is this? It has bits of red. That's in pepper it. jack cheese. Pepper jack cheese. Whoa! Pepper jack cheese. We're gonna shred it. A pound and a pound and a half pound and of and chicken half. or beef. Uh, did you, you will step over a couple? Yeah. Thank you so much. When I have this cooktop on it, it takes a lot more room. Okay. All right, we'll let that drain out and we'll put it here in our stove top cooker. My little uh, uh, Mima Claus dress is a little long and I would be pretty embarrassed if I tripped. Okay, I'm going to put in my, I uh, cut these up on Wednesday because I thought we were going to be filming on Wednesday. So I'm gonna put in my onion and bell pepper, uh, about a cup, cup and a half, depending, again, uh, whatever you wanna do. If you like a lot of onion, go ahead and put a lot of onion. If you don't like any onion, don't put any onion in it. But we like these combinations. Cheese is really good. This is pepper jack cheese. Yes, a little bit of spots in it, a little bit of pepper jack spots. Yes, ma'am. We really like the um, texture of canned meat. I don't know why, pardon me, uh, it just seems to be uh, more palatable for me, I guess you would say. And Gigi Alf, uh, her, she can't eat real hard things. She has to have soft softer things. It's kind of difficult getting old and trying to eat all the good stuff. But yeah. Robin has it down as a as a talk louder. I'm, gonna I'm supposed to talk louder, she tells me. <laughs> oh she kicked me too. <laughs> Woo! Pepper Jack cheese. There's the end of the pepper jack cheese. I'm gonna eat this one little piece of pepper. pepper well you have a whole nother package there and then oh. after you're done you can put the white cheese into this bowl. You can just dump it in there. Good job. Good job. Okay. I think I'm gonna, I guess I'm just gonna do that. Good job. There's a silver little spoon over there. It's okay. Just put it in there, GTL. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So we have onion, bell pepper, green bell pepper, and our meat. And we're gonna put in our taco seasoning. Ooh, taco seasoning, taco, taco. It's gonna be next. Of course, I'm gonna leave you all the ingredients and recipe down below in the description. So let me just get this cooked up a little bit more. So what do you guys think about our idea of um, of the movies? Uh, that's one movie a week, even if you have to skip a week. You know, I've, I've been looking on our YouTube channel and uh, the ages of our people are uh, about 50 and up and we're all female. I think I've seen one gentleman and then of course my son. <laughs> um, but then 
when you have the, the kids over, the grandkids over, uh, the great grandkids over, we're going to be doing things like uh, popcorn balls that you could have, or sex mix. Uh, Grandma Cleo, my mom's mom, she, oh, she made the best. She made the best Chex Mix, and she she lived in Venice, California, and she would send it to us when we lived in uh, St. Louis, and um, oh, we would we were so happy when we would get that, and then we would watch like The Wizard of Oz. Those are such great memories for me. So we thought, wouldn't that be fun? Uh, the ladies or the grandmas or you guys can have your grandkids help you make a, a snack or a dinner and then you guys could go watch a movie a fun movie together i think it's a i think it's a, a great idea that's me what do you think ggl oh and the movies are so funny what was the name of that movie that we saw we watched well we've watched elf and we gave you yeah. guys uh, that was me i was the star of elf yeah, yeah. We gave you a homework to watch Elf, and hopefully you did. You really would have treated yourself, because it was so funny. Uh, and then we watched The Ghost and Mr. Chicken. Oh. Uh, I love those movies. They're happy and fun, and it doesn't have a whole bunch of, you know, filthy language and all that kind of stuff. They're good, clean fun that you'll be happy to watch with your your grandkids so leave us a leave us a comment below and let us know if, if you think that that's something you would be interested in doing and if there's a movie you want to find out maybe we can find out it for you so let us know yeah and again we're going to try to keep it cheap because we know that uh there's a lot of free movies out there. there's a lot of free movies out there so and we don't you know this we want to make sure everybody's going to be able to participate if they choose to if you guys think it's a terrible idea then don't uh, watch you know you can watch it no matter what <laughs> i don't know maybe we'll do something else but right now we think that's a pretty great idea all right now we're doing green enchilada casseroles uh so we're going to of course use green sauce if you want to do red sauce then by all means you do red sauce so this is green enchilada. If you just pick that up, you can dump it right in there. Perfect, Mom. Excellent. GTL. Something scared sheep. I heard her tear out of here. Oh, she loves company. So if she hears somebody outside walking by, because we're on a golf course, and if she hears them walking by, she just goes panic over, let me out, let me out. I got to go say hello to these people. I actually think they're in their plane. I can hear them in there frolicking around. Oh, she has this toy, and it's a big red bone, and she pretends to kill it every time she plays, and she beats it up, and she beats it up, and she twirls around it. So it has funny. squeakers in it. I know. And she does so, go crazy over it. You're right. So funny to watch her. What about, the, what do we do with this one? Uh, that's going to be next. So then we're going to add a can of Rotel tomato and chili. I'm going to sneeze, so I'm going out here. Yes, thank you. We're going to add that in there, and we're going to give it a, a good whipping up. This is going to be really good. This is good. This is our, this is what we eat a lot of. We like casseroles. Um, when I moved to Wisconsin, Casey and I moved to Wisconsin when, when he was fairly young guy. See, it even has Christmas colors. Sheba, you better scrub. Go on. Uh, and in Wisconsin, it gets so cold that they did, when I lived in California, uh, I didn't cook a lot of casseroles, but when I moved to Wisconsin and it was so cold, um, my nose hairs would freeze. I've never had that happen before. I would be outside and I'm like, Oh my God, what is that? Sure enough, my nose hairs were freezing. It was crazy <laughs> cold. So they made a lot of hot dishes or casseroles. And uh, that, that's definitely, that's the kind of food I like. That's definitely the kind of food I like. I don't have any scissors and I can't get this open. Okay, so there's some scissors in the block. 
Yeah, right here, Mama. Right here in the block. Okay, now I can get it. So, even though it's summertime, we can do crock pot casseroles, but uh, once fall gets here, uh, we're gonna do we're probably most of our stuff, not all of it, of course, but a lot of our food's gonna be uh, yummy. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way I know how to explain. You're right, Mom. It is so yummy. It is so, so yummy. If you haven't tried the Sedona chili, you better try it. It is incredibly good. It's pretty good. All righty. So we have that. We have that. Now I'm going to, this is starting to bubble. Gigi's going, I'm going to grab that for you. Gigi's going to grade this block of cheese, but we're going to put it in a different bowl. So you can grade that and then put that in this bowl when you're done, okay. Gigi. Cut this in so I'm going to push that up a little bit while it's cooking. And I'm going to start working on our corn tortillas. You probably don't, I, I would recommend you use corn tortillas. It's enchilada uh, casserole. The flour ones, you're just, it's not going to soak up the enchilada sauce. It's just going to be, I would not recommend it at all. But you do it how you want. Maybe you have some picky eaters and they're not going to want to, um, they don't like corn tortillas. That's okay. All righty. So I'm just going to grab, oh, I'm not sure. Just grab a handful of them because we're going to be layering it in our crock pot. And you're going to want enough. And then I'm just going to cut them into fours. All righty. Put them over there. And is this going in the cheese pot? No, Mom. Thank you so much for asking. It's going in this one. Okay. All right. I don't know what I'm doing, so I always have to ask her what I'm doing. I love it when she asks me. <laughs> I'm very happy when she asks me. Because I almost put all this cheese in that cheese, yeah. and then that cheese would be wrong. Yeah. She does a great job. Got another one here. She does a great job. Okay. American cheese. No, this is cheddar cheese. Oh, Again, cheddar. That your your cheeses are your preference. Um, maybe your children don't like uh, the pepper jack cheese, so just do cheddar or whatever your kids like or grandkids. All right. Now we're gonna spray our um, crock pot pot. Make sure you spray it good. I'm gonna stir my <laughs> I probably look pretty funny, but that's all right. I'm getting the job done, however I have to get it done. We only have a little work area here, and I want y'all to be able to see to see everything I'm doing. Okay. Is this cheddar cheese going into here? Yes. Okay, just want to make sure. So now I'm going to open the other can of enchilada sauce. And I'm going to put that right there. So I can open this bigger can. And we're just going to start layering. We're going to do a layering process. Are we done with this one? Yes, you can put that in the sink. And we're going to pour just enough to cover the bottom. All righty. We're going to pour that in here. And then I'm just going to cover the bottom. You want to cover your bottom. Okay. And now I'm just going to take a handful of these and I'm going to start layering it in here. Uh, I'll show you after each step. 
Um, we're going to do, you can do uh, just, you can put it in a hole one at a time if you want. I just think it's easier when you go to cut it. Uh, it'll be easier. And then I like to double up mine a little bit. I'm going to put more than one layer because I like it a little bit thicker. I like it to be prominent. The uh, corn tortillas. Okay. So now I'm going to show you. So I see it's layered in there. Okay. And I'm going to pour a little bit more sauce over these. Okay. Uh, Gigi Elf, can you get me a, um, uh, <laughs> a measuring cup, the big mom down here, down here, the uh, glass one, please, or the plastic one. Okay, now I'm going to put in. Da -da 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 -da. Thank this you. This one you want? Yes. If you would be a deer and pour this sauce into there, that would be great. Okay, so I now to do. I'm going to start layering oh. this in here. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Alrighty. It's all out of there. You want to throw that away. Oh, so okay. you'll probably do... Uh, I think we're just going to have two layers. So go ahead and do half of the... Okay, let me put a little more in. Half of your mixture. It's going to be so good. I promise you it'll be so good. Gigi Elf, can you do me a favor and get the, um, the in the refrigerator and the Tupperware is the Ortega chili peppers that we used. Where? Well, I'm... Is this it? Uh, well, that's best for we so it, I'll get them, Mama. I don't know where it is. That's why I'm going to help you. Okay, here they are. Okay. okay. We're going to use the rest of our, uh, but I'm going to put that on our second layer. Okay, so we're going to add our cheese now. And it all melts. It's going to be so It melts good. in your mouth. So I promise delicious. you, you're going to be very happy there's with that this. that cheese and there's this cheese and it's just so... Okay, now we're going to start mm -hmm. our second layer. So we're going to start putting... Two layers. Our next layer of corn tortillas or flour in here. She's cut them in little squares. So they just go right on top of all the Do you know why, Gigi Elf? No. Because when when we cut it at the end, uh, after no. it's done cooking, it'll come out easier if they're in little pieces like this. Yes. So, and I was telling them that uh, you can put as many tortillas in as you want because again, it's your preference. Uh, if you like a thinner layer, then just use a little bit, but I, we like it thicker. We want to we want to taste it. Okay, so now I'm gonna pour some more of my sauce. Oh, it is so yummy sauce. Mm-hmm. Delicious. And now I'm going to put in our the rest of our mixture, our concoction. You can just set that over there, Gigi. You don't have to wash it. Is it hot on bottom? No, just oh, okay. put it in there. Alrighty, so now I'm putting in the next le layer or level. And because uh, I'm going to need your help over here, Gigi. Uh, now I'm going to put my cheese. Gigi's going to open our olives because we know how important olives are. And I'm gonna put my next layer of cheese. Pearls, what's these pearls? Sliced ripe olives, oh, 
How are you? I like to read directions. I and love that she does that. And sometimes I can't read it, but I try. She hasn't always been a, a instruction reader. She was, DGF was the, if all else fails, read the instructions. I say, I say that all the time. Instead of, read the instructions and, and then move forward. Isn't it funny how people are? I'm totally the opposite. I will always go and read the directions first. I only read them when I don't understand them. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to bring this up and show y'all. I don't want to trip on my dress. See, I get okay. to sample them too. These are the black olives. Okay. So, so here's our cheese and our layers. I guess you can't really see that good. But you're seeing what I'm doing. Your moms and grandmas, you know what you're doing. Okay, and here we go. We're gonna keep layering this. We're almost done. And then uh, we're gonna cook ours on high because we wanna, we wanna eat it for one. But uh, we wanna get this video out to you because it was, it's been so yummy. tomorrow will be a week since we videoed and uh, we feel kind of bad. We're so busy. Yeah. We get new costumes too. Yeah, we were, we were looking on um, eBay and uh, trying to decide what we want to do for be surprised. Halloween. To be surprised. And uh, we were having a good time with that. Alrighty. So here we go. We used all of our tortillas. I'm going to finish putting on the rest of our Sauce. sauce goes on the top to help the cheese melt. Uh, this one is going to be as good as the jalapeno popper one recipe that we see. Okay, Mother, if you'll put those in there, that would be fantastical. And we're going to top it off with our cheddar cheese. And then... We're going to put on our olives. Gigi loves olives. She loves black olives. So I'm going to put all of these on there for her. She is like I'm a cheeseaholic. She's an oliveaholic. All right. We have it all. I don't want it to layers, but can you see that a little bit? And then we're going to put it in our crock pot. We're going to plug this in. We're going to put the lid on it. And we're going to turn it on high. And we're going to let it cook for uh probably four hours then we'll take the we'll gauge it uh we'll let you know the final result of course after it's done cooking then we're going to let it uh cool and settle and then uh and then we'll be back and we'll show you the end result and have it all plated up all right so Gigi, do you want to say goodbye? goodbye we'll see you soon we'll see you soon bye and look at my new earrings <laughs> the elves them. made these earrings, and I'm so happy. With Our them. neighbor Terry brought us over a whole bunch of uh, Christmas ornaments. She's so sweet, and Gigi said, "Oh my goodness, I need to have some Christmas earrings too." So the elves gifted her. Yeah. Okay. We'll see you. In the, we'll see you in a little bit. Welcome back. Hello, hello, hello. Hola, hola, hola. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Yes. Merry so, Christmas. Yes. We finished our um, crock pot and tawadas. I didn't want to put that hot dress back on, so I just put my cozies on. Uh, Gigi Elf, she's a, she's a trooper. She's like, I'll put that outfit back on. I'm going to put it back on because I've got my my earrings. That this, the, who gave me those earrings? Oh, the other... 
Ooh. The elves, Mom. The I elves. Did. The other elves brought me a doggy and also a Santa Claus for my earrings. I've never had earrings before, but now I do. Yeah. So, ah. Uh, we cooked it and I did a total of an hour and a half in the crock pot with the lid on on high. Then I took it off for a half hour and let it cook so it could uh, get more solid, solidify. And, um, and then I let it cool for about a half hour. The longer you let it cool actually though, uh, the easier it'll be to cut and to bring out. So, um, so on your plate. Oh, they're so beautiful. Here's look our. That. That's our lunch, and our yeah. dinner. Doesn't it look yummy? It's, it is yummy. It has, it has tomatoes, and it has. Is this cheese or is it sour cream? And uh, um, cilantro, sour cream, tomatoes, and some lime. And so, don't forget the olives. And the olives, of course. We're gonna do a taste test for you here real quick and yes. let's see how it is, Gigi. Okay, how do we get this? Hey, open be up nice. Here. And open up here. Kimmy, she's a very grumpy dog. She she doesn't she's getting older. She doesn't like Siba getting all up in her business. Okay. Oh, they're actually playing. They're playing. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. Oh, good lunch. Mmm. Oh, that is delicious. I knew it was going to be good. <laughs> it is so good. It is so good. So, so good. Make this one. Um, you'll be very impressed with yourself, especially if like, you serve it at a party or um, for your family. They'll, they'll boast mm -hmm. all over you. That's for sure. Um, so I'll leave the uh, recipe down below and don't forget to make your get button guest leave it in the comments below for your opportunity to win this beautiful little gift basket all right so sorry again it took us this long almost a week to put out another video but we're very busy well we're even very busy and we're enjoying all the company that comes into us thank you so much absolutely We'll probably do another video Monday or Tuesday. So, and today's Friday. So, but we want to get this out to you real quick. Yes. So, we love you. Please subscribe. We actually got a couple more subscribers from this morning. Woo! So, we're up to 60 subscribers. 60. Woo! And leave us a comment. You know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to see if you guys would be interested in us doing... You know, doing movie night. I think that would be a super idea, but it, it's what you guys want. This is for you and for entertaining you. And if you have a better idea, let us know. Leave that in the comments below too, all right? Okay, so we'll see you on the next episode of Mima and Gigi's Place Christmas in Ooh. July. Feliz Navidad. Bye. Bye. Love, you. Love you. Bye.